So in this video, I'm going to be doing like a two part type of thing. I think in the beginning of the video, I'm mostly just going to focus on doing my eyeshadow and the eye look because it's my first time doing a look like this. I want to really take my time and, you know, focus on just doing the eyes and getting that over and done with. And then when I feel like I am done with my eyes and all that stuff, I'm going to move on to doing my foundation routine. And then I feel like that's a little bit easier for me to just talk when I'm doing that instead of talking when doing my eyes. Let me first get into doing the makeup portion. So um, I went ahead and prepped my, no, I didn't prep my eyes. I did my eyebrows off camera and I wanted to prep my eyes on camera because I'm going to be using a new product. So some of the stuff that I'm going to be using for the eyeshadows and even the face is going to be new products that I haven't used yet. Um, I'm going to be using the Morphe James Charles palette. I did use this to do like a neutral look, but I haven't used this yet to do a colorful look. So this is going to be my first time really playing with the colorful um, shadows in this palette. So yeah, it's going to be my first time playing with a lot of the more um, colorful shadows in the palette. I know that they were pretty much saying that the shadows as far as the colorful ones are you know a little bit tricky and harder to play with because they're more um pigmented no they're more like richer in pigment so they're legit pigment shadows so i know with those you have to pat those on instead of blending them and i'm going to be using a new primer today i'm going to use the anastasia eye primer because i've been hearing a lot of good reviews about this people have really been liking it so i'm going to just take a little bit of that and put it on the back of my hand i'm just going to apply it on using this little concealer brush people have talked about this um, primer to say that is very pigmented. Um, it kind of reminds them of the Plows or P. Louise, whatever the hell it's called. But I want to give this a try because everyone has been using it and has really been raving and um, talking about it. I'm just going to blend out the primer with a Real Technique setting brush. I love to use this for blending things out. All right, first impressions, I really do like the way that the Anastasia primer dries down. Um, it definitely is a little bit pigmented, but it's nothing. It's actually good that it is a lot lighter in pigment for the eyeshadow portion, like on the lid. So I'm going to first start with just going ahead with the actual colorful eyeshadow pigments. And I'm going to take like this purple plummy kind of color. It's like a little bit of pink hues to it as well as like a cranberry, like a pinky cranberry color. And I'm going to put that on using the Morphe M5, M456 brush. I have about two of these I'm going to be using. And I'm going to first start by applying this. Okay. That Anastasia shadow really, I mean the primer really is bringing out the pigment. I feel like I haven't done a makeup tutorial in like so long. All right, so just wiping that off on my little paper towel that I have down here. I'm going to take this very rich red, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to push that right next to the purpley shade we use and just get a touch of the purple shade again and just make sure that you're blending those two go colors together. All right, I'm just going to switch over to another M456 brush. I'm gonna take like this coral orange, tap off the excess. I'm gonna look down and make sure I can really get into my crease. And I'm just gonna push that color right in the center of my crease area, like mm. so. Now I'm going to take this Precision Crease Bullet from Makeup Addiction and I'm going to grab a generous amount of that yellow and we are going to push this right in the beginning of our 
crease area. All right, now I just want to blend these colors in my crease area. So I'm just going to grab this orangey brown transition shade. And this is the Morphe M514 brush. And I'm just going to start from the outer and start to slowly blend in small circular motions to just mesh these colors into the crease. And then now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of each shade just to bring back that pigmentation to the crease. All right, now I'm going to take this Fenty Concealer in the shade 360. I'm gonna be doing a soft cut crease today and I like to seriously use the applicator brush to do so. Okay, I have to hold my breath for this, but I'm just basically just gonna cut the crease and then wipe off any excess product that I have that's on the wand and kind of just fade on the outwards. But I kind of, but I have to do it for you guys to like really understand what the hell I'm talking about. All right, now I'm gonna wipe off any excess that's actually on the wand. And now I'm just going to feather the brush outwards. All right, now I'm gonna take this pigment that I got from um, MAC. And this pigment is in the shade Naked. And I'm gonna use the Morphe M210 brush. And I'm just going to start to pat that color on the lid. I seriously love already so for the outer portion I'm actually going to go in and start with building things up I'm gonna use like this whole little um, lower thirds of the palette and just start to apply all these like plummy shades. I'm gonna do that using the Morphe. Um, oh no, this is Sigma blending brush in E36, but Morphe has one as well. And first, I'm gonna start with the plummy shade. And I'm just blending that over. And then I'm going to take this purple shade and put that on the lower and also blend that over a little bit further. This honestly can actually go at least on the outer thirds like so. And I think I want to go in with like a little bit, just a teensy bit. Actually, I'm going to mix both of them together and go on with this darker purple and then take that lighter purple again. And I just wanna get a little bit of the darker on the outer. Like I don't want it too dark, but I definitely want like a little bit more depth of the purple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do this eye off camera doing the same technique. And I'm gonna come back and do my liner, my lashes, and then we're gonna get all into the T of you know my lgbt lgbt we're gonna get all into the tea about everything i promise i promise Alrighty, so this actually looks so freaking bomb and i'm so happy because my camera is picking everything up it looks so freaking good you guys i think i want to put the glitter like in the crease part though I just got this new glitter. I haven't used it yet. It's from Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in their Disco Daydream. I think this is new. Um, I want to say that this was like in the Pride collection or something along those lines. Don't quote me. But I'm thinking that I want to put it like, you know, to define the crease a little bit. Hopefully I don't like jack this up because this look is, <laughs> this look is going good. 
And I think this is exactly how I wanted it. Let me see if I can like zoom in a little bit. Hmm. Oh my gosh, the way this camera is picking up these shadows. All right, I'm not touching it anymore because this looks so good. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking proud of myself. OMG. All right, I have my favorite liner here. This is the Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. It's a felt tip, but it's so small and precise. It's so bomb. I'm going to be doing a wing today. It's going to be a very small wing because I'm going to be wearing my Jordan lashes. And those lashes are pretty long, but they're not very full. So I have to watch myself with that to make sure that my liner isn't really thick. So I'm just going to do a wing and y'all know I can't talk through this. <laughs> This is as good as it's getting. It's as good as it's gonna get. All right, now I can move on to my whole little explanation slash story time for you guys. And same thing, I'm just gonna point out um, what products I'm using on camera. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I honestly, this is my only thing that I use as far as um, prepping the skin because it's a really good face prep. It smells freaking delicious. And I feel like it adds to holding my foundation in place all day. All right, so I'm just gonna give my skin a few minutes just to soak that moisturizer priming base in. And now I can move on to sharing my whole little situation here. So as you can see from the title, yes, I did used to date girls. I used to be in relationships with girls. I used to date girls. I used to court with girls. Like it was just, a lot of my life had to do with me being with females. Now, I feel like this has been like the biggest question, the biggest topic, um, at least in the beginning on my channel because you guys literally always ask me this question all the time. Is she gay? Is she not gay? Do she like girls? She look kind of like, you know, tomboyish. She look like she date girls. Like what is the deal with this girl? I feel like, yeah, this has been like the biggest question and not so much now because I feel like ever since I came out and told you guys that I had a boyfriend, the questions pretty much stopped. But you know, I it, it is a part of my past and you know, I'm just one at this point in my life that I just want to be open. I want to be vocal. I want to start being myself and I want to start being more open about my life. And the only way that I can really do that is to obviously share with you guys something that was a huge part of my life, you know, once upon a time. So let me move on to my foundation. I'm gonna use the NARS and then um, NYX mix together. You guys know I love to use these two together nowadays. I feel like I, my first experiences ever was all with a female. Um, <laughs> and I feel like this topic to me is just so sensitive just because, you know, I have a lot of my family that watches me. Now, pretty much like everyone in my family knows about my past. Like, um, yeah, pretty much everyone like knows. But like when it comes to like my, I have cousin, little cousins, like my little nieces and nephews and you know, all the little people, my freaking mom watch me, my grandma, you know, a lot of my family watches my videos. So for the longest time, I've been trying to debate how I wanted to really do a video like this. I wanted to do this video, honestly, like two years ago, but I held back um, just because I just didn't really know how to really do this video, honestly. But you know, the best way I can really do it is to just be honest and live in my truth and you know it is what it is i think i was just so nervous of people like judging me you know whether it was my um subscribers or you know different family members or whatever because many people obviously know about 
my past, but for the longest time, they've just been having me try to hold out um, as far as like having it be like an announcement to the world, I guess. And honestly, like, I think I'm just to the point in my life where I just am tired of living for other people. Like, honestly, at the end of the day, this is my therapeutic type of, you know, get away from real life. And it's really, and I say that to say like, no disrespect to everybody else, but it's like, you know, if you can't, if you can't accept me in my truth, then you can't accept me in my, you know, you can't accept me at all. Basically, like it is not to say that my family obviously don't accept me. Like, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I just think that I was just so nervous about the judgment. And I'm just to the point where, you know, when I honestly could have talked about it a long time ago. But that's why I'm deciding to talk about it now because it's Pride Month and why not? I'm going to use the um, two Born This Way. I think it's the new shades in Chai and Caramel. And I'm going to put them both on per usual because y'all know I love to mix things together. And I'm not really going to bring it too far down. I'm not really going to bring it like all the way down here because I feel like when I did that in the past, it kind of made me even more oily. Underneath my eyes, I get kind of parched and dry. But around my nose area is where I start to get super oily. So I'm just going to avoid putting it all the way down there. All right, so I'm actually gonna let this sit on my face for a little bit. Um, you know, I feel like it kind of adds to the, what am I trying to say? It adds to the fuller coverage um, and I like that effect. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna continue to talk. So, um, all right, so I really wanna start by saying from the beginning. Okay, so I wanna say that I had my first experience with a female probably Experience in the asset of like when I started to see that I started to have feelings that were of abnormal to everybody else that I was around. I don't really know how to explain this whole entire story, but basically it started like in 34th grade and that's when I had a friend and I think that's when my friend started to like do like weird things. Like she would like say things that's like very flirtatious to me. Like you would, you would pretty much say like to a boy, she would always say stuff like that to me. Like, I don't know. Like I just felt like it was definitely not the norm like you know when you like back in like the day when you have like butterflies and like things like that i started to have that for like um my girlfriend at the time and i knew that that was not normal so it pretty much started back then so i want to say like i was probably like nine or ten years old is when like the crazy weird feelings started to happen and then you know it went from elementary school to about middle school middle school i didn't really entertain because about that time I pretty much moved. So I had to go and find like a whole new set of friends and it was just like a whole new environment for me, like in general. So, you know, I was so comfortable with the people that I was around when I was like um, nine or 10 years old and then I had to move again. So, you know, I wasn't really that expressive and like all that stuff when it came to like my newer people that I was around and my newer friends. So I pretty much just like put feelings like that you know, in the, on the back burner because I didn't want to be judged. I, don't, I didn't want people to like look at me crazy and stuff like that. So um, fast forward to about like high school days when I'm in Jersey now and I'm not going to name any names. Like I just don't want to do that because, you know, for some people, I don't even know like what their situation is like and all that stuff. And I don't want to put, me, put people on blast and like stuff like that. So we're just going to hold out on names when it comes to this video. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to start to blend out my concealer because I think it's set for a good amount of time and I'm looking and it's looking like it's drying. So let's start to blend that out. I don't really like to like name myself. Like I was never the one to really call myself gay or call myself a lesbian or call myself bisexual or, you know, all that stuff. It just like, to me, it was just like, I like who I like and I'm attracted to who I'm attracted to. Like, um... They say nowadays when it comes to the LGBT community, love is love. And that's honestly like how I felt um, when it came to whoever I liked, whether it was a girl or a boy. And I feel like when I got to Jersey was when I was really introduced to, you know, the real like 
I mean, I call them, and maybe it's not the appropriate term to call them, but that was when I was really introduced, like, the different type of levels of gays, like, the lesbians, the butches, the, I mean, it's not a nice word, but I was introduced to, like, the dykes or whatever, um, and all that stuff, but at that time, I was young, like, I didn't know what the hell a dyke was, you know, so I was introduced to, like, all the different levels, I, I didn't know there was different levels of being you know in the in the community i didn't know what a lipstick was i didn't know what like i didn't really know what any of that was so i didn't really start to understand all of that until i got to high school time and that's when i was really open up i was really introduced to like you know all different types of people that was like me and people that got me and people that understood me and like my feelings and you know they was having those experiences as well but they were just like different types of females but they all we all liked the same things like you know what i'm saying so it was around high school time that i was more so open with my experiences and I was more open with you know things that I was experienced when I was younger and I was seeing that people had a lot more things in common with me as far as their sexuality and their likes and their needs and like all that stuff that sounds like so weird to say <laughs> High school was when I guess you can say I had my first official girlfriend. I dated her. I'm not gonna say her name but we dated like it was like the shortest amount of time because that's when I got super duper 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 scared of judgment. I remember I it was my best friend at the moment or at the time. Um, I still talk to her to this day. Like a lot of people that I'm going to be talking about in this video, obviously I'm not going to drop names like I said, but a lot of these people still to this day I still talk to. Like we was like pff, what like freshman year of high school. I don't know where I just got cut off, but my camera just cut off so I don't really know where I left off so we're just going to just I guess you could say high school was the first time that I um took my feelings to the next level and I had like my first girlfriend um I'm not going to drop her name but it was my best friend at the time and I remember we were playing truth or dare oh my god I remember this till this day we were playing truth or dare right and somebody dared I don't <laughs> But someone had dared us to make out, right? <laughs> My grandma's going to kill me for doing this video. <laughs> so someone had dared us to make out, right? So then from that day, like, um, I don't know, like just let's fast forward from that day, she became like my little girlfriend in school, right? So then everybody like knew we were like dating, like everybody would be like, oh, I didn't know Laura was gay, blah, 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 blah. And then that's when like, I felt like the whole like, people calling me gay and people calling me a dyke and like all that stuff started happening. And I was like, uh-uh, no, this is not for me. I'm sorry, I ain't gay no more. I ain't gay no more, I'm delivered like y'all wildin because i am not no dyke you know what i'm saying like it was like i felt like back in the day the only term that people could say for um a gay or bisexual girl was to call them a dyke everybody ain't no damn dyke like what the fuck <laughs> ah! like everyone is not no damn dyke like i never understood that right so they started calling me dykes and I was like this little gay little gay girl or whatever and I was like well I'm not a dyke I'm not a dyke I'm not a dyke so then from that day I was like nah I, I had to tell her like you know everyone's talking about me like everyone's calling me things that you know that you are no I didn't say that that sounds so bad <laughs> You know, everyone's calling me a, a little gay dyke. I'm not no gay dyke or whatever because I still like guys. And, you know, um, I don't know why they're calling me that or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But this is when, you know, like the whole LGBT community, LGBTQ community wasn't as it is today. And I feel like people weren't really that educated back in the day. This is like 07, 06, 05 times. Like, you know, like people weren't really introduced to that type of stuff. Like it wasn't as open as it is today. And it was just like, they were just like a little bit too much. Like, and I couldn't handle it. I couldn't bear to be treated like that, you know? So from that day, I remember I told my girlfriend at the time, <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember I told my girlfriend at the time it was just like you know I can't do this or whatever like this is too much for me like I'm not a dyke I'm not gay or whatever blah 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 so then I, I'm sorry but I had to break her heart and just break up with her <laughs> I had to break up with her or whatever and then I, I believe I just went back to guys um, at the time so I was still dating guys again and then from that moment I had moved again my mom my mom was always freaking moving me somewhere like I was a kid seeing her for that like every other day she was trying to move me to somewhere else in a different state or whatever and I had to start all over again like I used to hate that oh my god it's hard when you're young trying to find friends okay I feel like parents don't be understanding that I had to start all over I had to find all new friends again or whatever and I don't believe it was the same thing like just like when I just told you guys before when I um, had my first experience with a female when I was like nine or ten years old and then I moved and I wasn't really open with you know my sexuality because I didn't really know these people would have to start all over again and then I moved again and then I kind of stayed at that area for a longer period of time and I became open again and that's when I had my first girlfriend and then I moved again <laughs> I moved again and then it was the same thing everyone didn't really know me they didn't really know what I was about I didn't really come out and be like yeah you know I'm bisexual I'm gay I'm over dyke or whatever the hell people was trying to call me or whatever I pretty much just kept that you know inside then I think my senior year I just you know was just like whatever like I I'm not gonna drop her name again um it was another girl that came about and I had met her in high school right if y'all know who it is y'all know who it is if y'all it is what it is it's so long ago but if you know you know if you don't whatever i was running track at the time at the high school and i remember i was at a track meet and i had met this girl and you know she was very popular at the time i mean she's still popular to this day i mean i don't really know <laughs> she was very popular at the time and um she was like a very star athlete like she, we was in high school she was like the star high school runner or whatever everybody knew she was gonna go pro type of thing or whatever so i remember the first time i met her at a track meet um everybody was so gassed to like see her or whatever and then i'm you know i just moved to this area i didn't know anything about her i came from you know where i came from and moved all the way to this area so i didn't really know anything about her because when i was at my old high school i didn't do track i wasn't running track i was doing gymnastics so i did gymnastics for 14 years of my life and i've never done any other sport junior year had came my first year to the high school everyone really wasn't fucking me like that or whatever but the um you know pretty much the last end of the school year came and I wanted to do track because I wanted to stay in shape for gymnastics. That's what it was. So I decided to do track because I wanted to stay in shape for gymnastics and I had stumbled across a girl that I told you guys about but she wasn't running at this time because she had hurt herself. So um, I remember seeing her at States or wherever the hell it was and you know I was trash. I didn't really do that good because junior year I didn't really know anything about track. So yeah I met the girl or whatever everybody was hella souped to meet her um and shit and i was just on some shit like who is this girl i've never seen her a day in my life because again i never did track apparently she was like a superstar ever since she was like freaking five i don't know <laughs> and um i never met her never seen her never heard about her nothing or whatever and then you know i met her that day it was like a short passing type of meet her or whatever and then i kept it moving my sly ass <laughs> had slid in her dms probably the next day or whatever but at this time it was on dm i don't think even i don't even think instagram was like around at this time um i think it was more so facebook so i remember i had slid in her facebook or whatever and i had introduced myself i was like hey you know i just met you the other day at a track meet i just want to introduce myself um so and so blah 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 or whatever and then she said hey my name is so and so as well or whatever she did she introduced herself i feel like this isn't blending in aren't children to the world we was best friends but to us we knew we was lovers <laughs> this video is about like i said people that know who i'm talking about and you know they knew about the girl that i'm talking about they're gonna put this they gonna put two and two together in this video and be like i knew it i knew it 
So yeah, sing, uh, singing year comes about, we're still together. By this point, I think we've been dating for like about five or six months or so. Um, or whatever, I would always go to her house, like in the summertime, I would be chilling with her or whatever. And, you know, at this moment, no one really knew anything. Everyone just thought being her were like BFFs or whatever. So we graduate or whatever. She graduated from her school, I graduated from my school. And, it, and by the way, we went to separate schools. And then we knew the only way that we were ever gonna be like really be able to see each other was if we went to nationals, we went to championships, or we um or I went to her house, she came to my house on the weekends or whatever like that. Like we weren't in college, you know what I'm saying? Break comes around, we break up, summer break comes around and we break up or whatever. And you know, I don't mess with a female after her. I pretty much just go back to messing with this guy that went to my college at the time. He had, he was like a transfer in from Connecticut, I think he was. And I started messing with this guy, the transfer guy, right? Madly in love with this guy, super infatuated with him. Like, I think he was just like my type of guy or whatever. And on top of that, no one really knew him. He was a transfer or whatever. Like, I was like all dips, right? He didn't really wanna commit or whatever, typical guy shit. So now senior year comes and now I'm back to dealing with females again. I remember I was messing with this one girl in the summertime. That didn't freaking last because she was fucking crazy. And then I remember I ended up messing with this other girl. Oh my God, like, <laughs> oh, some of these people, like you ever like just sit and like think and like sit back to yourself and just think like, why the fudge? Did I mess with this person? Like, I have a lot of those. I have a lot of those or whatever. So yeah, I started messing with another girl probably about the beginning of my senior year after I started messing with the girl in the summertime. <laughs> because she was crazy. She was freaking crazy and she stressed me out too much. And I started messing with this one girl um, the beginning of senior year. We were messing around for like a quite a long time and then we ended up making it official. <laughs> So I was dating her for like probably about like six months or whatever. And then she ended up breaking up with me in the summertime of my senior year when I graduated because she started messing with this other girl. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much like everybody just always freaking just dumped my ass because I guess I just didn't have any substance to people. But everybody was always like leaving my ass, breaking up with me, playing me, cheating on me or something because I just couldn't keep nobody to save my life. I'm convinced, like I'm so convinced. I wanna take the lighter blue and then I wanna take the darker blue. So I'm first gonna start with the lighter blue and I'm gonna take this Morphe M431 palette and same thing, I'm just gonna press the shadow underneath my eye. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the green and kind of mixing it underneath. All right, you guys, I have no idea what the hell happened to this portion of the video. And I'm so upset because I was doing so good with my talking in this video, but it is what it is, I guess. I mean, nothing you do about it now. Um, I'm just going to pretty much just talk through this part. So um, I wanted to explain to you guys where this hair was from and the hair color that I used to get this. I did not record this portion of getting the hair color because originally I was supposed to do this color, um, not really quote unquote focus on it as far as doing this specific specific color because I was going to do this wig and do my 2019 rainbow for pride but I actually just just got more hair from the company so I already have a wig done um, um, in prep for me to do my rainbow color which I'm going to be dropping next week so definitely stay tuned for that but this hair is from Y wigs and then the hair that I have in the, um, for the rainbow hair will be from Y wigs as well um, so I just went ahead and used the Wella color charm in 12a frosty ash um, if you guys are wondering about my whole little um, blonde hair method and how I get the frosty ashy color I have so many videos on my channel of how I do that so just definitely go ahead and just check out one of my older blonde videos um, later on on my channel um, but I'm just going ahead and just molding my wig down I have many videos of how I mold down my wigs as well but if you guys want an up and 
in-depth version of how I do it. I do have a specific video on my channel. I think it's about four videos um, later down, but definitely go ahead and check that out to see a more detailed version of how I lay my wigs. Um, and then, yeah, that is pretty much it. The whole entire makeup look is done. The hair is pretty much done. It came out so bomb, so flawless. And I just really want to end this video by saying love is love, you guys. I just wanted to tell my whole LGBT story on my channel for once and just, you know, let you guys just know the tea about all that. But I love you guys and can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys. All this time I've been trying to work out